snapped it in half. And you can see how powerful that wind is. You don't want to be out here in this circumstances. It is extremely strong. The rain is really picking up now. And as you can see, there is no one out here today. This is Elizabeth reporting live from Charleston here. As you can see, the wind is extremely strong here. Right here behind me is a tree that has been fallen that came right here. The wind snapped it in half. And you can see how powerful that wind is. You don't want to be out here in this circumstances. It is extremely strong. The rain is really picking up now. And as you can see, there is no one out here today. You can see that there is just extremely wind and branches everywhere. I'm running. I, li running. I like to run, so. What I are your thoughts on this storm? Well, I think it's a strong storm, but I think the news is kind of going overdose on all the, um, all the, the hurricane models. I don't know, but, eh, I just like running, so I came out here because I need my exercise. Well, don't you think it would be better to stay inside under this circumstances here? Well, I have stayed inside, but, the more you get it, thinking about it, the bored you get. So I thought I would come outside and try running. So far, it works great. Well, sir, I hope you stay safe in this storm out here. All right. As you can see, that it is really strong out here, and you do not want to be out here like that guy. So back to you in the studio. Hi, this is Elizabeth here, reporting live in Charleston here. You can see with this great, the flooding is coming up. You do not want to be close to this and make sure your home is fully equipped for this circumstances. The floodwaters are coming up, so that means you probably need to go up too. Right here, we have someone we're going to interview today who actually is out in the storm, believe it or not. What is your name? Catherine. Catherine, and what are you doing out here today? I don't know, it's just I, the, um, the news told me to like,